Marsabit County has emerged as the most suitable location out of seven key contenders to host a sports spot that has other counties being like Kipia, Kilifi, Tana River, Esiolo, Turkana and Narok. Kenya Space Agency Director General Colonel Hillary Kipsgay says development of a space spot would foster research, innovation and growth of knowledge in Kenya. In an assessment of 47 counties, Marsabit County emerged as the most favorable location to set up a spaceport due to its large tracts of unoccupied, affordable land, low population density, low trafficked airspace, generally flat terrain, and proximity to the Lapset Corridor. Other counties that were viable options include Laikipia, Kilifi, Tana River, Isiolo, Turkana, and Narok. And some of the benefits include uh, employment opportunities. Uh, it will catalyze the development of the space industry in Kenya. Uh, and as a Kenya space agency, one of our focus areas is in the development of our national space capability. The report recommends construction of additional supporting infrastructure such as roads, boreholes and solar farms if Marsabit is chosen to host the spaceport. Our investment in the aerospace industry for a very long time has been focused on aviation, whereas the rest of the world is really developing in other technical capabilities concerning space. Experts estimate that the initial stage of the spaceport construction will cost 5 billion shillings and operational costs will amount to 7 billion Kenyan shillings annually. The spaceport is expected to earn Kenya 1 billion shillings per launch with an estimate of 5 launches within the first year of construction that would rise to 60 launches by the 10th year of operation. At the commercial viability of that spaceport, we developed uh, numbers and, and we were able to determine that uh, the investor will be able to make a, a whooping 1.05 billion uh, for every launch that they will be doing in the future. Reporting for Prime Edition, my name is Ibak Said. Number.